Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question what uh, microphone sensitivity is, how it's measured, uh, published and what are good values when you want to buy a microphone like uh, for YouTube, streamer, for gaming and so on. So I had a couple of different microphones in the last couple of years. I mean, I'm not a big YouTuber. I have a lot of videos and I think my microphone, I mean, it's super cheap, but most people are good with the quality which uh, my microphone is providing. I'm going to show you which one I'm using. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, there could be better things, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but what are in general the measurements what we have and uh, what's a good level so let's start with this site uh, Rode it's a really famous manufacturer of good quality microphone so I think we have here a really good explanation especially down here microphone output is measured in millivolts and starts in decibel compared to the reference level as the reference uh, level of one volt is normally above the output level of the microphone the resulting number in decibel will be negative so a microphone with a sensitivity of minus 40 decibel is more sensitive than a microphone with a rating yeah, to, to put it on the right side with a rating of minus 60 decibels so what's a good value and what's uh, not such a good value so i'm going to show you a couple of samples here so this is a really cheap uh, microphone which i have bought uh, some time ago and tested on my channel and i was not really happy with that i mean it's a really good deal 69 dollars for the whole set really looking really good I mean, uh, I'm not uh, complaining about the quality of this microphone. It has a pretty large diaphragm. It's picking up also deeper uh, voice patterns. So it, it has a natural sound, but it's just not really sensitive. And we get the values from here. So usually we have to go down a little bit. And sometimes we find with a lot of microphones, we find the technical specifications. I mean, also with other things, but uh, with uh, microphones we get uh, some of these values here like sample rate and and those things frequency and and regarding sensitivity they are stating minus 38 uh, decibel and obviously that's not enough because it was too low sensitivity or like a too high number so we have to look for something with a lower number when we have the minus in front of it so let's check on the microphone which i'm using since almost two years that's the thing here 45 dollars five fine uh, it comes with this stand it doesn't have like a shock filter doesn't have like a pop filter but i'm really good with that i think it's not needed it has really good quality especially for the price and unfortunately when we go down here we don't find these specs it's a little bit disappointing i mean i think it's a good manufacturer but they are not stating the numbers here so i really had to go to the manufacturer site and yeah by the way what's also really good is that we have this volume controller i mean i have it always in on, on, on maximum usually uh, but at least we have it we can adjust it that's a, a huge advantage when you have a microphone when we go down we have the specs here we can find a minus 34 decibel that's quite a difference to this uh, minus 38 when i go with the same recordings to the my editor that's the cyberlink power director and uh, the maximum which i can gain with the audio is 12 decibel the really strange thing is uh, yeah, when you uh, see the numbers here the com when you compare it like minus 34 to minus 38 and you think yeah it's just four decibel difference and with my editor which i think is a pretty much standard editor you can gain uh, plus 12 decibel so you think okay 
Yeah, the difference is only four decibel when you can gain just right in the editor uh, alone 12 decibel. You could easily increase the audio volume of a cheaper microphone to this one, but it's not happening. It's a different thing. So probably it's just like a percentage ratio or so. It's uh, not even getting close. So I have to do this a couple of times when I use the microphone like with the 38 decibel and I gain 12 uh, decibel inside the editor. It's not anywhere close to that i have to do it uh, two or three times to be on the same level and then yeah when you edit then of course it's creating some noise some errors some bad sound quality it's not comparable uh, to when you have this thing right from the beginning it's much better when you have a good sensitivity and a good audio level from the beginning when it's too low it uh, it, it doesn't help when you have a good editor and trying to increase uh, it's almost impossible to get rid of the noise then when you uh, uh, filtering too much you're getting rid of a lot of uh, voice patterns too then we have another sample here that's one which i've just tested yesterday you can find the uh, review on my channel already and here it's a little bit interesting we cannot find the uh, decibel in the specs down we can only find this in the picture that sometimes happens and they are saying minus 47 decibel which would be uh, incredibly low but uh, when you open the box you get the box you open it and then outside of the box it, they are saying minus 38 and it would say okay that makes sense it's probably uh, minus 38 which is the same as with the Uhuru, which I've been testing, and I would say, yeah, they are uh, pretty much on a comparable level. The problem with the Xivio is then not only that it has only a minus 38 decibel, it has also probably a really small diaphragm, so it picks only very high frequencies and it's not picking up a low sound pattern, so that makes it uh, not a really a good microphone. Then we have another sample here, the Yoto USB. I've also been testing this also on my channel and they are not saying anything. They have no specs. When you go down here, there are no real specs here. The only thing which you find is here in the pictures and they are just saying high sensitivity. They don't show any kind of values. They are just saying high sensitivity and yeah you can write anything uh, as long as you don't have any numbers you cannot prove anything and uh, for me this microphone also failed somehow i mean it's not completely useless but it doesn't have high sensitivity and doesn't have a really good quality so i would definitely recommend to stay away as long as you don't find any clear indication or numbers on the sensitivity just stay away from them and then i have my last sample here that's the Rode NT that's almost like a professional quality microphone they are saying uh, studio quality I mean everybody can say studio quality but uh, of course Rode NT I mean they are a really famous manufacturer I've been buying this for my son it was I think for his birthday or so and he's still using that he's super happy with that and when you go down and read the uh, feedbacks or the reviews a lot of people are saying yet yeah, is super super sensitive unfortunately uh, on Amazon we don't find any indication for that they just have a noise a signal to noise ratio which I don't know what it is but really when we go down we cannot find anything i mean we find the specs here as uh, some numbers but there are no decibel numbers here so we really have to go again to the website of the manufacturer and here we have it and they are saying sensitivity minus 31.9 decibel yeah i mean it's a very expensive microphone it, it was about 180 dollars uh yeah it's a really good one and if you want to go with a really good thing i think that's a good value uh, maybe around minus 32 decibel something like that uh yeah if you don't have uh, so much money if you have uh, like a more uh, tight budget like me then maybe it's a good idea to go with something like around 34 35 decibel something which you can uh, use and increase the 
audio level then directly in the editor uh, gain a little bit of extra volume uh, in, in the software that should be possible when you have like an original uh, decibel of 34 35 but when you have just 38 uh, around 38 39 with these cheaper uh, things like the uhuru or the Thivio or the uh, Yoto or something like that uh, yeah it can be really painful and difficult to create really good sound out of it and I would uh, rather uh, recommend to stay away from that and uh, rather than go with the Fine, fine. I mean, it do doesn't look very fancy. It doesn't have the pop filter. Doesn't have uh, a shock mount. Doesn't have any other crazy stuff. But for me, it is a really good uh, entry level microphone. Decent quality, decent audio level, decent uh, sensitivity, and I'll put down the link to this one into the description so you can check it out, order it right from there if you like it. And uh, yeah, I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And of course, also if you have a better solution, if you have found a really good microphone in this price range just let us know i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time